Hey, I'm Jason Berg and this is 112 Adventures. I'm here today at Oshkosh Air Venture 2023, standing next to the prototype Vans RV15. Let's walk around and check it out. So you'll see they've added some stickers of some of the changes they've made throughout the uh, prototype design. Looks like the engines move forward an inch. The windscreen raked aft. Uh, you'll notice there's no fairings or anything on the airplane right now, but it does have fairings planned for the future. I don't expect the uh, final design to have a pitot tube like that. It's probably just testing. Looks like this aileron hinge has been moved aft. Some changes to the flight controls. Looks like they're moving the flap track outboard. And as you can see right now, all the uh, flap tracks are machined. I don't know if we can expect that in the final production or not. I know it does add quite a bit of cost to have these machine flap tracks. And it looks like this flap track right here is going to be moving inboard. There's no door installed right now, but it will be a clear door, like you can see on the other side. This is just a test seat, it's not the final production seat. They still have the fuel tank inside, haven't integrated that to the wings yet. Flap handle looks like it's still on the ceiling, I don't think that's going to be the final design. <laughs> Moving back into the cargo section, still only see uh, room for two forward occupants. I don't think they have any plans for rear seats. They do have plans for baggage. Some changes on the tail have been made. Looks like they extended the edges about 10 inches. The trim and anti-servo has been combined. Rudder count counterbalance has been removed. I don't know if this is true to the original design, but I did notice and talk to them about it. The uh, leading edge on the horizontal sta stabilizer is removable. So I guess if you pick up rocks or you know take any damage, you can remove and replace this leading edge. I think that's pretty neat. Yes. Seeing some notes on the other side, it looks like the leading edge is smaller as well. We'll get around to that in a second. Pretty serious tailwheel setup. Smaller leading edge. There's another note right there, four and a quarter inches, 4.25 inches of tailwheel travel. So that's pretty serious. There's a bunch of 12 Yes. Okay. 
Well, there's a road tax yeah. yeah, they got one at the road tax Yeah. And they got like three on the corner over there that were going to eat Oh, uh, uh, the Looks like there's a note for the fuel tank, 30 gallons per side, should be expected right there. The right side doors installed, pretty, pretty nice setup they have. I was a little skeptical about that when I first saw it. I think that'll work. Thrust line down 2.2 degrees. There's another note on the forward landing gear, six inches of vertical travel. So yeah, pretty exciting, neat airplane. Um, fortunately, they're still not taking orders quite yet. They're still working on the, the design, the engineering prototype, if you will. They're very committed to getting this thing right and making sure that once they are taking orders, they can support them and manufacture them and get all the parts out to people in a timely manner. So instead of just, just taking people's money and you know, offering hopes and dreams, Looks like they're gonna come through on their their typical fashion of uh, putting out a pretty good product. Alright, well thanks for watching guys. Again, I'm Jason. This is 112 Adventures. Make sure you uh, leave comments below. Look forward to guys. Look forward to what you guys have to say about this thing and uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll be building them soon enough. Alright, we'll see you on the next one.